Hey everyone and welcome to the latest episode of 8 Brit with 2 Brits and Top 8s. I am Chris. And I'm Dan. And today we're going to talk about our Top 8 sequels that we want. But today, uh, right now, we're going to just briefly mention the comments in the last video because we always do that. Um, Dan, your opinions are a boner killer. See, Josh said that but he also, in saying that, implies that while watching 8 Brit, he has a boner. <laughs> so, at some point, we've we have induced that. I feel good. I feel and then good. I appreciated, Ch- <laughs> I appreciated Chazzy's comment. Uh, he always likes to do essays in his comments. And he hasn't played a lot of famous games, and it's just kind of like, whoa, Wait, dude. Didn't he say he hasn't played a lot of really bad games, like Ocarina of Time and Metroid? Yeah. <laughs> right off the bat. Yeah. Swinging it into the, the basket. I'm mixing up my sport analogies. Should we um, move on to today's episode? <laughs> today's episode is um, it's something we were going to do anyway, but it's inspired by Nintendo Nerd, who previously said that he wanted to see uh, maybe an episode about franchises that should be revived or brought back. Mm-hmm. Um, but instead of that, it, we're doing something similar with sort of sequels that we want to see, just because I don't think I could think of eight franchises that aren't currently ongoing that I'd want to see coming back. Yeah. Sort of thing. It, it's, the so same, it's, it's the same idea. Yeah. Same sort of concept, games that could do with a sequel, whether they're old or new, or how long ago the last one was, sort of thing. Because some of mine are pretty recent. Yes. Okay, let's Um, let's crack on, shall we? Let's crack it open. What's your number eight? What do you want to start with? My number eight is Mischief Makers 2, I guess. Um, Yeah, Uh, Mischief Makers is like... Well, let let me see here. Not a lot of people know this game... There's not a lot of games I've played that you you could consider, um, what's the word, like like a hidden gem, that's it, or just unknown, basically. Yeah, stuff that just nobody knows about, and this is one of them, I assume? Yeah, this is one of them. Mischief Makers was a 2D platformer for the N64. Ah, okay, that's why I haven't heard of it. <laughs> it was made by Enix, well, before they were called, what, uh, what was it, like, before they were called Squares... No, I, I don't know. Yeah, what is it? Is, did they become Square Enix first? They were Square, Square Soft, Soft or... and then they were Enix, I think. And then they became Something. Square Enix. Uh, okay. I think. Don't quote me on that. Mystery. Yeah, but Mischief Makers... I, I, ugh, this game was a big part of my childhood. I played it on my N64 like every day. Going Literally through all the levels. <laughs> Completed it, still kept playing it. Non-stop. I never completed it, actually. It's like one of them really hard games to 100%. It's why Chris is so underdeveloped. Um, as a child, he never left his house because he was busy playing Mischief Makers permanently. Uh, so he never got any vitamin D and therefore is short. Well, Science. <laughs> I am five foot six, but I'm not sure that has to do with it. I thought you were just going to say, I am five foot. <laughs> leave it there. <laughs> five foot six. <laughs> ah, Mischief Makers. Tiny, I'm not even dude. sure if Mischief Makers holds up today, but I mean, it's like, I don't know how I'd play it. I suppose it's probably one of them expensive rare games on... Amazon. Do you not have it anymore? Did you lose it? Uh, I don't know. I always used to sell my games when I was younger to get other games. Oh, mistake. Yeah, I know. Never do that. I'm a hoarder. I can't do that. I just, I've still got games I don't like just because I can't get rid of them. Hmm. But yeah, I can't do it. Mischief Makers could be like a really cool uh, sequel in today's world with HD. Like, it could have HD sprites. Um, do a lot of cool mechanics with uh, Marina Lightyears, who's the protagonist, shaking. That is a cool name. Yeah, she's a robot who shakes things and throws things. <laughs> so a bit like that Wario game on the Wii, where he shakes stuff. <laughs> I guess you could. I sort of know nothing about this game, so my knowledge is completely. I have it's, nothing. It's to very add Japanese this. as well, actually. Fedus, Fedus. But yeah, Mischief Makers Two. Please, this bring back this please, forgotten gem. Please, Square Enix, stop making good games that you're making at the moment. Cancel Just Cause 3. Make Mischief Makers 2, thanks. <laughs> just kidding, they're not even making it. It's Avalanche, but different joke. Um, your number 8? Anyway, my number 8? <laughs> my number 8 is Marvel vs. Capcom 4. But, if that's not possible because of weird contracting things, maybe, between Disney and Capcom, who knows? Just a Marvel fighting game would be okay. I want to see Marvel vs. Capcom 4 mostly because I want to see the lineup of fighters they'd have with, especially with the recent sort of boom in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and stuff. I want to see him bring Groot to a fighting game. You know? That would be cool. I want to see Drax. Because in the 
we got Rocket in Ultimate Marvel Capcom 3, but I want Groot. I want Drax. I want I want War Machine. That would be cool. Wait, just give me all the stuff. <laughs> what? what? Uh, I was just gonna say, let's go back to the whole Disney thing. So, what's going on with that? I I don't know. I've I saw things that Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I think, was taken down from a bunch of digital stores, and I vaguely remember that being possibly because Disney were being weird lawyery people, but I don't remember if that's the exact reason why that was. Why, why, um, why wouldn't Disney want Marvel vs. Capcom 4? They own Marvel, right? Yeah, but they don't own Co- yeah, they don't own Capcom. Right, but then... Right, so... I don't know, they might be licensing stuff. No. Oh, because Disney, in theory, would basically want all of the Marvel properties to be in their games that they have control over. Oh. Um... You know? Because all, like, all of the Marvel stuff is in Disney Infinity and stuff now, so in theory, if there's going to be a fighting game with Marvel properties, why would they let Capcom do it and not just do it themselves? Uh, what? That would be my thinking. I don't know. They might be completely fine with it, but Disney kind of... Perhaps. I don't know. So, if not Marvel vs. Capcom 3, 4, sorry, just give me a Marvel fighting game. I would be okay with that, Disney. Because, let's be honest, whoever has cared about the Capcom side of the Marvel vs. <laughs> Capcom... Whoever! Who looks at Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and goes, oh yeah, I'm going to play as Hagger, <laughs> um, what Ryu from Street? Who cares? No one. Well, no one. Plenty cares. of people do. No, they don't. <laughs> Everyone's playing as Spider Man and Hulk. Be real with me. Okay then. Everyone's playing as Deadpool because he's the best character in that game. Okay then. Marvel, just give me Marvel vs. Capcom Four. If you're going to be lawyery about it, just give me Marvel fighting thing. <laughs> I don't care. Just I want to. F- have Deadpool in a fighting game. Are again. you ready? Are you ready for this transition? Yeah, I'm ready. Transition. Amaratsu was in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. That's not even right. It's Amaterasu. Or whatever. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Amaratsu. Ama- I don't know how to say it. They don't even speak in the game. They just make mumbly noises. <laughs> Amaratsu. Shut up. This is so bad. I, I'm, I'm pretty bad at pronouncing things. You're I ruining my, want... like, segue here. That's because it was awful. From. That wolf thing in that game. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was awful in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, but go on. My number seven now is a sequel to... Well, I have never played Akami Den, but a sequel to Akami, basically. So Akami 2, right. please. O- yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you going to get out of the way and say that you hate it? No, I'm not, I didn't hate it. I just thought it was underwhelming for the hype and that it wasn't as good as it should have been. Oh, I loved it myself. I loved the first Akami. I love the characters. I love the gameplay. Uh, it's just this, my sort of game. And it had a really good story. I don't know. I just really liked it. And I'd like a sequel. I'm going to play Akami Den one day. Uh, Is it in your backlog? Is that whole thing? I haven't bought it, but I should buy it. Yeah, fair enough. I'll find it cheap someday and buy it, yeah. Yeah, it's a DS game, isn't it? Yeah, it was towards the end of the... Well, just before the 3DS came out or something like that. Yeah, so you can probably find it in like a used used game bin somewhere. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. But yeah, Akami is one of my top games of all time, to be honest. Um, So, sequel, please, is all I can really say. <laughs> is that it? That's all you've got? I don't know what no, they like... could do terms in story. Maybe it would help if I played Akami Den, but... Hey. Wasn't it Akami Den like a babby version yeah. of... Amaratsu. <laughs> Amaterasu. That's not, still not right. It's Amaterasu. <laughs> How do I know the, the name of your favourite game ever's protagonist better than you do? <laughs> it's not my like, favourite game. This? <laughs> oh, whatever. Akami 2, please. Thanks. Plus, plus. Who even made Akami? Capcom. Oh, okay. There's a lot of Capcom. That, that's one. why she was in Cap- Marvel vs. Oh, yeah. Capcom. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I forgot that you did that. <laughs> Do you want me to move on? Since yeah, what's your number seven? Doesn't yeah. My number seven. Shadow of the Colossus two, not Last Guardian. That's not going to happen. I'm going to be honest. Don't. I thought this would be higher on your list. Nah, because all right, I'll run through it. I like Shadow of the Colossus, but essentially all they can really do with a sequel is just give me another load of colossi. Really? Because what else are they going to do? I don't, there's no I real, don't know. There's no real room for improvement with Shadow of the Colossus, because it's almost perfect. So the only thing they can really do is just chuck in like 16 more Colossi and go have fun. <laughs> and while that would be fun, there are other games that I would definitely prefer a sequel to more. 
if you know what I mean. Okay. Like, I would love... Because they had a bunch, right? They were originally planning on, like, 32 or something. Or some ridiculous number of colossi, but then they couldn't do it for huh. whatever reason. I don't know. And some of the, like, scrapped ones look really interesting. So I think now, stop making Last Guardian. It's clearly never going to happen. <laughs> I mean, that's if they're still trying to make it. Probably not, let's be honest here. No one knows. Oh, it's a mystery. Until E3 comes around and, like, they just go, yeah, it's happening, by the way. <laughs> That won't happen. Um, nope. Yeah, just let's give up on that. Make a new Shadow of the Colossus. Is it the same developer? Uh, last. Yeah, it's Team Ico. Oh. Well, damn. <laughs> damn, son. <laughs> Where'd you find this? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so just give me 16 more Colossi. Use some of the old ones you were going to do. Just use the same ones. I don't care. Just give me another Shadow of the Colossus. I have yet to play it. It, well, I've, I've mentioned before how I want a PS3 and I want to buy many games such as the Shadow of the Colossus HD collection or whatever it is. Yeah. So yeah, Don't. one day. Yeah. It's good. It's very good and I would be totally happy if they made another one. What's your number six, Christopher? My number six is a sequel to Mario Strikers Charged on the Wii. Mario's... Yeah, I'd be alright with that. Yeah, Mario Strikers Charged <laughs> is literally one of my favourite games it's just so fun. I like. It is it. very fun. Some point we should meet up and play it. Yeah, I I'd have be it. up for that. I don't. I also I don't have, have two nunchucks though. So <laughs> ah, I'll bring one of mine. Okay, that's, yeah. Okay, but yeah, my Strike strikers shot. I I just imagining like if they went um a bit more in depth with like your team customization or um yeah, just more ideas. And management, I don't know. Just uh, good online. Who did you used to use? I was used to play as Waluigi. I usually played as Bowser Jr. Oh yeah, because you're a loser and you love him. I, did, yeah. I used to play as Waluigi just because he did the crotch chops. <laughs> that is true. And then I always used to have like, always had booze on my team because they had that crazy thing where they could just like phase through people. Oh, so who was your like favorite sidekick? Definitely boo. Ah, uh, mine was. You just phase through people. It was. Great. I loved. I love playing the shy guy because if you held the shoot button, <laughs> you just get a bullet bill out of nowhere and blow up the goalkeeper. <laughs> and and I, I just. Love, I do not remember. I that, love the I mayhem that you can cause in this game. Yeah, I I never enjoyed like FIFA or any of the other football yeah. games because it was always like, well, no. If I can't beat the hell out of people, <laughs> and chuck them into an electric fence. Why would I bother? This is lame. Mario Strikers Charged is. Oh, it's so fun. I just want a sequel. On the... Yeah, it's Mayhem. I'd love it. On the Wii U? Yes, do it. Yeah. Nintendo, please. Oh. I'm just... Oh, please. <laughs> please. Please. Sequel, I can't really please. say much more. Just like a more in-depth, more things to do. Yeah. Customization. Yeah. Yeah, do it. More characters. Get on that, yeah. Nintendo. Shigeru Miyamoto, personal message from me to you, because I know you listen. Make a Mario <laughs> Strikers. Mario Strikers you, it'd be great. Everyone would love it. I wonder if he even knows that Mario Football exists. <laughs> I assume he does. I assume he has to, like, check over it. Hmm, perhaps. Perhaps. Possibly. But yeah, that would be very... That would be very swell if that happened. That would be wonderful. Yes. Moving on now. Yeah, moving on. Um, My number six. Would you like it? I would like it. My number six is Skate 4. Um, I'm aware... That Tony Hawk's, he's doing a new game, isn't he? He's making another one. He's up one. to he's his old tricks, that geezer. Up, that classic geezer. <laughs> I'll knock him out if he doesn't do it. Um, <laughs> I'll get my mates on him. <laughs> yeah, he's he's making another one. He's fiddling about with the skateboarding and stuff. But I never played any of the, his his skating games, so I don't know him. But I did play Skate Three, and it was very, very, very good. Hmm. So I want a fourth one. I don't have much opinion oh. on all these <clears throat> skating games. All these darn skateboarding games. I played. Kids. I played one of the Tony Hawks on PS One when I was younger. I have some vague memories. It was fun. That's a, that's yeah. all I have really. I did also. Um, I played this PS Two game where you were on like a hoverboard. I have <laughs> just a random memory that's popped into my head. I have no idea what that game that was, but carry on. <laughs> anyway, um. Yes, Escape 3 was really good. It was really fun. It had some really well-designed areas. It looked really good. Is that an open um, Is that an open world skating game? Yes. Okay. It's completely open world in this like sort of big city. It has some really cool little areas you can trick down and stuff. Um, but is, and is it better various... than uh, 
Uh, what was that Simpsons skating game? <laughs> Skateboarding game? I do not remember. Oh, okay. It was hor- it was horrible, apparently. <laughs> I played that when I was younger, actually. There's another one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, skateboard. <laughs> Make it, please. Full open world. I don't know, give me a rocket launcher. That'd be fun. Rocket launcher? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Skateboard. Do a hybrid of skate and just cause. <laughs> just chuck them together. Oh, that would be amazing. Hmm. Okay, then. Yeah, Skate 4. Just make it... Plus. I don't know. I think it's EA or something. I have no idea. Skate 3 was really good. It was fun. I'll take your word for it. I don't really it. have that much to say. <laughs> Let's move don't on, really then. have that much to say on it. Aside from Skate 3 was fun, make Skate 4. Number 5. <clears throat> My number 5 is No More Heroes 3, please. Suda 51, please. Uh, after No More Heroes 2 came out, uh, at some point... Goichi Suda said, like, oh, I'll make a No More Heroes 3 um, for the Wii's successor. And here we are now with the Wii U. He's not going to do it. Yeah, I'm just kind of, like, thinking, where's my sequel, man? Where's... <laughs> Where is it, bro? No More Heroes 1 and 2 are some of my favourite games I've ever played. I love the action, I love the humour. Everything seems to be one of your favourite games you've ever played. Well, Have you ever played a game you didn't like? Well, I don't tend to play games I don't like, I think. You think, yeah. or you've repressed them out of your me- memory. Maybe. You just, you can't handle it. Hmm. But anyway, at the end of No More Heroes 2, the story sort of concluded, but I think there was, um, I can't remember if he said this in an interview, or I'm making this up, or if it's just fan discussion, something about how Travis Touchdown could have a, a um, child who grows up to want to be an assassin, and then it would take place then, or something. I don't know. But No More Heroes 3, please. In any shape or form, I will play it and love it. Please have it. I won't. <laughs> well, you're not going to buy it. I won't buy it, no. no. I will. Yeah, but I still won't play and it. And I hope I hope uh, Travis says some more crazy stuff like strawberry on the shortcake or whatever. But yeah, No More Heroes 3, please. Thank you. Please, please don't. <laughs> don't make it just a spike, Chris. <laughs> Uh, moving on, Dan. <laughs> Number five. It's Billy Hatcher 2. <laughs> I can't go a couple of episodes without talking about Billy Hatcher. I've, I've noticed that. <laughs> I've noticed that I talk about Billy Hatcher way more than I should. More, way more than any human being should. <laughs> Billy Hatcher was really, really good, and I want another one. And Sega, stop making Sonic games. Sonic's lame. Make another Billy Hatcher. Have you, Please, just do have it. Have you played Billy Hatcher recently? <laughs> yeah, I, the multiplayer on that game's awesome. Whenever people come around, I'm like, right, we're playing Billy Hatcher. Huh. Game's great. It's, I'm going to play it over summer. When I go home, that's one of the first games I'm going to play. It's funny, because like, I read a video review, and I just read that the controls are Sorry, bad. you read? Uh, I watched. A video review. <laughs> Chris is magical, guys. He can read I watched videos. a video review, and <laughs> the guy said uh, the controls just weren't great, and it was annoying. But you seem to love it anyway. I do love it. <laughs> I love it with all my heart. <laughs> probably because of nostalgia goggles. I will be fully honest with well, you. Well, that's why I asked the if you played it The controls probably are asinine. Yeah, but even if you've got nostalgia goggles, playing something like recently, you are you will excuse it for things. Hmm. You know? Yeah, maybe. I have, I have no doubts that the controls are complete asinine. Like, they're probably awful. You're rolling a giant egg around. The physics are probably weird. But, like, I love it, man touches my soul and you want a sequel i really want a sequel just give me more egg rolling action <laughs> have him fight the crows i don't know that's what he did in the first one i know nothing about the plot of that game <laughs> he fights crows that he rolls eggs around there are chicken people literally that's all i know hmm okay i because i don't pay attention to the story i just want to kill things and roll eggs i don't think billy hatcher probably has the deepest of stories anyway no what if it does? What if it does and I've just forgotten about it and it's like this deep Shakespearean <laughs> sort of... <laughs> that would be glorious. Yeah, no, but Billy Hatchard, make another one, Sega. Stop making crappy games about the stupid hedgehog. No one cares if he's got to go fast. <laughs> he's been going fast for ages, but your sales haven't. Hey, hey Sonic jokes. Just got wrecked, Sega. Get fucked up, oh, nearly swore. Get wrecked. <laughs> I'll come at you. I'll bash your head in with my mates. <laughs> <laughs> What's your number four, Chris? <clears throat> My number four is get ready for this pun. Metroid another M. 
I, I want you to type that in the video, by the way. I'm not going to do it. Here you are. No, I'm not. I'm going to type something else, like some lame Metroid game. <sighs> anyway, but I specifically want a um, sequel to Other M because the game had really good ideas, but unfortunately most of the game failed, so... What it did get right was the feel of Samus in a 3D space. Actually, f- Yes, and about how she wants to be a mother. <laughs> Bottle ship. Uh, stop making me lose my train <laughs> of thought. Baby <war>. Ridley. <laughs> Mate, baby Ridley though, come on. Ugh. Anyway, the way you control <laughs> Samus is really good. So I would really love it if they uh, had another go at this sort of uh, type of game. and actually. So what, what you're saying is... Have another shot. Try again, please. Yeah, but this, Try but not this to time, balls it up. Yeah, basically, <laughs> don't don't put too much effort in the story because Metroid Metroid's always had a little bit of focus in the story, but not as that much. And the story was botched yeah, like, anyway. Not cutscenes. Isn't isn't the whole deal with Metroid supposed to be like you discover the story through gameplay instead of cutscenes? Basically, which is one of the things I sort of appreciate about it, even though I don't like the franchise. So yeah, Metroid Prime did coming that. Coming in and being like. Cutscenes everywhere. Because I've watched those cutscenes. They're bad. Mm hmm. They're really bad. Yeah, but the story, there's just plots everywhere. Uh, plot holes. Um, yeah, wasn't there a whole thing about, like, there's a crew, but someone's betraying them, but we don't know who it is? And yeah, that, that story kind of fell flat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still very much enjoyed Other Rem. But if I, if there I think was, you might be the only one. If there was another Rem and it was, wasn't was linear, it was actually an an actual Metroid game let you explore and left you isolated but it felt like how Other M felt with the controls and if they, they if they somehow made it so um it wasn't so easy to fight enemies because you literally just press the d-pad near them and it's like oh I dodged <laughs> oh yeah also make it so that Samus can use her own gear without waiting until she's told by a man <laughs> if she can because I heard people didn't like that yeah that was really stupid so yeah, another better RAM would be amazing in my opinion. Good, good. So yeah, please, thanks. I'm in a similar boat with my number four. Do you want to hear it? Okie dokie. I want Saints Row 3.5. 3.5. Is what I, basically I want. Okay, Saints Row 4 took everything about Saints Row and just went, nah, just kidding. You've got superpowers now, you can fly. <laughs> and the whole game felt like Saints Row 3, but with cheats. Because it was literally the exact same world, and but you had superpowers, and it was kind of dumb, and it was like it was fun for the first five minutes until the the sort of novelty wore off, and you just went, "I'd rather be playing the normal game, please." <laughs> so what I want is I want Saints Row Three, a sequel to that, where the same gameplay, just with a new story. Just Ooh. give like give me a Saints Row Three, again. Wait, so tell me again what the difference between three and four is. Okay, imagine GTA. Okay. That's Saints Row 3. Oh. <laughs> but Saints Row 3 is a bit more... I thought 3 was when the they started. And... Oh, okay. Yeah. They started, they had like some ridiculous nonsense going on. Mm. But it was all sort of still a bit grounded and... Okay. Like it was like GTA but silly is what I'm trying to say. All right. And then Saint... Saints Row 4 was imagine GTA but with cheats on so you can fly and you can run really fast. Meaning there's no point in cars, no need for guns... Just it takes everything and flips it on its head by adding in these new sort of mechanics. Hmm. And the, the new mechanics were fun. Don't get me wrong, I quite I enjoyed them. But it was a bit too much, like, over the top. Like, after a while, it just became this sort of, like, eh, I'd rather be playing the one before that, please. Uh-huh. So I want, I want a Saints Row 3, but... A Saints Row 4, sorry, but, like, with... The need for cars and the need for guns and or you want to so <coughs> you want a Saints Row just... Five that's like free, yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. So like, yeah, but with the same sort of silliness that Saints Row Three had and yeah, yeah, because I thought Saints Row Three was really good and then I played Saints Row Four and I was like, this is okay, I guess, <laughs> but it's not the same. Yeah, they've just taken everything and kind of like done a thing with it. I don't want to say ruined because it wasn't completely ruined. It was still quite fun, but like. Yeah, it was just so flipped on its head that it wasn't recognisable as sort of what I liked about the franchise. Hmm. Well, alright then. It's, yeah, it's an interesting situation with Saints, Saints Row. Uh, number three. Okay, my number three is a sequel to Majora's Mask. Um, so you you have Ocarina of Time, 
The sequel to yeah. that is Majora's Mask, and I would like a sequel to that, so it'd be like a little Hero of Time trilogy. You hate both games, so... <laughs> I hate both games. I dislike Ocarina of Time. You overestimate my opinions a lot. Well. <laughs> I dislike Ocarina of Time, and I refuse to play Majora's Mask because it's, I didn't like Ocarina of Time. What's it going to improve? Well, it's, it's rather different, but the thing is, the differences don't sound appealing to you. <laughs> no, yeah, the differences aren't that they fixed the gameplay. The differences are that they made the story... Um, how do I say this? <laughs> I don't know how to put it into words, but they made the story all like depthy. Well, it's, I don't on care. On the surface, about there's not games. a lot of depth, but I yeah, there was a bit more. Like I play Zelda because I like killing things and going in dungeons and solving puzzles. Like, give me a Zelda game with four dungeons. Like I care. <laughs> like basically, when people say play Majora's Mask, they're like, oh, play a game that plays like Ocarina of Time and only has four dungeons. They're very good no? four dungeons, mind you. Yeah, but it plays like Ocarina of Time. And Ocarina of Time played horribly. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't like how it... Yeah. <laughs> it's just... It's clunky. It's slow. It's like, eh. Anyway, sorry. Don't let my negativity okay. sway you. What do you want... <laughs> why do you want a sequel? Because didn't Majora's Mask, like, have a nice ending and um, stuff? Well, yeah. You you know, you get rid of Majora's curse or something. You get rid of that evil from the mask. And then Skull Kid's all happy... And then Link presumably just goes away from Termina and, I don't know, <laughs> is on his way. So Maybe he goes back and back to Hyrule and looks for Navi. That, that's, why, that's how he ended up in Termina, he was looking for Navi, yeah. Yeah, maybe he's still doing that and then he never finds her. Or he finds her dead lying on the floor at the end of the third one. <laughs> <laughs> that, I would be interested in a threequel for that whole trilogy thing if it ended like that yeah so maybe uh link can grow up a bit and then the game could take place or maybe he doesn't have to grow up i don't know and it it would take place after majora's mask to i don't know how it it would be i'm just imagining some sort why of... why are you saying a sequel to majora's mask well it's like, just like because sto- story-wise zelda games are never connected is it do you want the gameplay to be similar or something well yeah kind of um do you want mass to come back well it's the same link isn't it so yeah, I that's guess. what I mean, really. Because I'd be interested in Mask come back. Because that's one of the few things that is actually kind of interesting about Majora's Mask mm. is the like the changing into the Zora and stuff. That is cool. That yeah. stuff. I just don't want to play it in a game that blatantly controls badly. I just want a third adventure with the Hero of Time, really. Fair is yeah, it's true because he is like the iconic, yeah, like the Hero of Time. No one says anything about the Hero of Winds ever. <laughs> you know, not much. It's like. As great as Wind Waker is. Yeah, when you think Link, it's like the hero of time is the the sort of title you come up with in your head. Maybe the so, new Zelda is the hero of time. <gasps> <gasps> Plot twist. I'm very excited for Zelda you. Yeah, I'm too. <laughs> I hope it's good. Your number three. Do you want my number three. My number three is a new Hitman game. We had Hitman Absolution fairly recently, but we haven't heard anything about the franchise since then. Apart from the fact there's a film coming out, that's interesting. Um, but I want I want another one. I really like Hitman. Like, Hitman Absolution was brilliant. It had really good gameplay. I was allowed to throw scissors at people and kill them, so <laughs> give me another Hitman game. But let me throw scissors into people's jugulars again. Because Hitman Absolution was perfect. It played so nice. It's a stealth game, right? Yep. Hmm. It sounds like I should probably like get into that series, maybe. Pick it up. It's good. Um... Start with Blood Money. If you can get the trilogy, because I think there's a HD... Oh, no, that's PS3, I think. I don't think you can get that in 360. Oh, well, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going yeah. to get a PS3 one day anyway. Yeah. I'd suggest starting with the old ones, because <clears> it's a case of... you pro- After you've played Absolution, you probably won't be able to go back. Uh-huh. I don't think I would. Because Absolution just takes everything from previous Hitman games and just goes, this is way better. Mm. Everything's better. It's so good. It's so smooth. It plays beautiful. Give me another one. Another Hitman game. Uh, Square Enix? They'll do it. it. I think it's Square Enix. Square Enix. I think. Maybe. Alright. Um, yeah, it's very good. Very, very good. Well, <laughs> if, you, if that's I all you can really say about it, then fair enough. It... Yeah, it's just... A bit, there's nothing they can really do with the story, as far as I care, because I didn't really pay attention to the story. <laughs> but you never do. <laughs> I just want the gameplay to be the same, you know? I want another sort of like Hitman 
let me kill people again. It's a fun. Okay. <laughs> What's your number two? <laughs> My number two is a sequel to Red Dead Redemption. So Red Dead Redemption 2, I guess. Um, cool. We all, well, you know, I've talked about Red Dead Redemption before. It's one of my favourite games of all time. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Probably in my top, well, it is in my top ten, definitely. I love... When are you going to write that top ten? One day, we'll do an episode about our top eight games. Yeah. One day. We'll never do an episode, because Chris can't write the list. <laughs> I'll, think, I'll probably think of something. <laughs> and Red Dead Redemption would be in that. Maybe. Anyway. Guaranteed. I really loved Red Dead Redemption. I loved b- being a cowboy. I loved the western theme. I loved going around shooting people. I loved the story. I loved just the exploration. It's really, really fun. So a sequel is like a day one thing thing for me uh, that's about it really I just really love western themes in this game sequel please thanks do you want me to move on to my number two your number two my number two is SSX on tour two sounds weird when I say it because there have been SSX games since then okay but the most recent one sucked <laughs> so I just want them to make one like SSX on tour I want them to make one with the whole feel and the, the music and just Give me one with skis in it. Because SSX on tour, was, it had skis in it, and skis played really nicely, like, better than snowboard. And since then, they haven't done that. They tried their weird, like, extreme sports thing with the reboot. Oh, yeah. But it didn't work, and it was just, eh. Like, so, yeah, give me another SSX on tour. Mm-hmm. Give me the same music, same sort of rock vibe. Sort of the same visual style as well. Because um, SSX on tour had this really nice sort of aesthetic to it. It... It was a very good game, a very very good game, and I want another one. I only have a like um, I only have a vague memory of playing some SSX on the PS2, maybe. Yeah. And then I remember playing the reboot demo for a little bit and thinking it was alright. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say about the reboot. It was just kind of like, eh, <laughs> it's okay, it's alright. Yeah, but I remember having a lot of fun with whatever what game. I, I don't know it must have just been called SSX, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, it was yeah. really fun on the PS2. I can see why you want a sequel to this. I really want, I really want a new one that's good, that's like as good as sort of SSX on tour was. But then again, it might just be nostalgia goggles. <laughs> the reboot might have been good, it might have been better, but as far as I'm concerned, it wasn't. I see. Because I played SSX on tour was one of those games I played a lot as a kid, grew up with it. I want another one. Do you want to do quickly? I'm going to run through some honourable mentions. Okie dokie. I'd quite like to see a Super Mario Sunshine 2, but I'd be I'd settle for a HD remake. I just I like Super Mario Sunshine. I kind of like to play like it again it too, in HD, yeah. like the style and the like all the nice sun stuff. I think that would be quite fun. I want a sequel to Deadpool, um, but it's not going to happen. So, eh. <laughs> and that's all really. Uh, what's your number one? Uh, yeah, I <clears throat> I didn't really have any honorable mentions. I mean, there's stuff I I would like to see more of, but whatever. Those are my, those are my top seven, and my number one game is well. Do I want a sequel to F Zero GX? Yes. Oh my god. I I pressed the wrong yes. I meant this one. Yes! I forgot you were gonna. <laughs> I forgot you were gonna do that. F Zero oh, GX is one of my favorite games of all time. The sense of speed is amazing and thrilling. The gameplay is sweet. The tracks are great. It's just so much fun and fast. Sequel, please. It's been like over 10 years since we've seen F-Zero. Please. (laughs) Mario Kart's replaced it. Deal with it. You're in denial. No. (laughs) They're not going to make one just because they hate you. Uh, I remember we talked about before how they have two... They have Mute City and Big Blue in Mario Kart 8 yeah. now. That's base. That's enough, isn't it? No. <laughs> now, anyway, I texted Shigeru Miyamoto. I was like, yo, <laughs> yo, Shiggy, please, please don't do F-Zero because Chris wants it. And Shiggy was like, yeah, right. <laughs> Didn't want to do one anyway. It's lame. Stupid F-Zero. It's actually funny. I just remembered how um, <clears throat> Shigeru Miyamoto said something how, like, Oh, we need like new controls to justify new F Zero or something. I'm just like, what? Why a load of bollocks? 
<laughs> he just can't be asked to make it's... one. I remember hearing someone say that the way Nintendo make games is they start by thinking of gameplay mechanics and then they apply it to whatever franchise they can like they can they want to. I reckon that's true for some. There's some truth. So I'm thinking like is there anything that like new with regards to a racing game they could think of where they won't just go, eh, just stick it in Mario Kart? <laughs> you know, are they ever going to be inspired enough to make well, a game? Mario Kart can never... I mean... Yeah, says you. Mario Kart can never replicate what F-Zero does. It can come close. No. <laughs> well, says a lot of people. Yeah, says F-Zero fanboys. Uh... So the thing, the thing with F Zero GX is it's like really great game has great tracks, uh, great feel controls and all that. But really, all I want is a sequel to that and have like online, maybe another story mode. Like imagine like thirty players online. Oh, that'd be so good. I just love F Zero. <laughs> I want a new one, please. He loves F Zero, and he wants a new one. It's a heartfelt statement that is. F Zero GX. Uh, on steroids, I don't know. Please. Shame it's not going to happen though. Ah, <sighs> maybe. It's not. I'm hoping. I'm it's hoping so Mute not, City and Big so Blue dead. in Mario Kart Eight is a bit of a hint. Nope, it's so dead. What? <laughs> oh, fine, whatever. You're number one. <laughs> My number one is a series that isn't dead. Um, it's quite alive and kicking. I want Elder Scrolls Six. Self-explanatory. Skyrim was yeah. Skyrim was really good. It was one of the best games of all time. Make another one, please. Well, didn't they just... do, like, Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah, but I have no interest in that because other people are there. <laughs> like, I've, I remember hearing when Skyrim came out, people were like, oh, why do, isn't this not multiplayer? And I'm like, why would you ever want this multiplayer? <laughs> why would you ever want other people here ruining it for you? Blech. But yeah, make another... Elder Scrolls, please. They're going to do it eventually. It will happen, because Bethesda only have like two series, so whatever. But people reckon Fallout is going to be coming soon. It's going to be Fallout 4. Not that fast, because I've never played Fallout 3, but I'll probably play it. I want, when you're done with Fallout 4, if that's what you're doing next, make another Elder Scrolls. Like, surely Bethesda know that people want one at this point. It, it makes them a lot of money, so... <laughs> yeah, because Skyrim is huge. Well, Skyrim, like, yeah. Skyrim was massive, and like Oblivion before, it was pretty big, so it's kind of like, it's a logical business decision, and it's not like hard, it's not like it's like, oh, we don't have any inspiration, and they'd be milking the franchise. They clearly are capable of making something with original concepts, and like, just... And a lot of bugs, right? Ah, but it's true. (laughs) The thing is, people complain about bugs, but in some games, the bugs are the fun. (laughs) Like, you, you talk about someone else who plays Skyrim enough, and eventually you end up in a who had the funniest bug competition. <laughs> like, that's just what happens. I'm like, oh, I just had an old woman just glitching <laughs> through the floor like a ghost. It was amazing. Someone else is like, oh, I top you. I've got a, I have got had a mammoth just floating in midair until I shot it when it just <laughs> flew into space. It was great. Glitches in Skyrim are not a problem. Wow. <laughs> like, people love that. It's when it's, you know people not having faces in Assassin's Creed. That's when it's a problem. That's just... But in Skyrim, it's that's like... That's nightmare inducing. Because, like, a game like Skyrim is so big that it's gonna have bugs somewhere. They can't polish the entire thing, so... As long as they're not game-breaking, they're usually quite funny. So And you can excuse it, so it's like whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I understand what you mean, though. It's kind of like the scope is so big that there are gonna be problems somewhere, so... Just allow it, you know? So, uh, what could you think? Do you know what they could do in a uh, Elder Scrolls Six, or just more? Really, they, they just they could, all they'd really need to do is put it in a different region of Tamriel. I don't think they've run out yet. Oh, okay. Because if you look at them, every as far as I'm aware, and I'm not an expert on the series, so don't quote me on any of this. As far as I'm aware, all the different um, like Skyrim is a region in Tamriel. That's the whole. That's where it's set. Okay. And Oblivion was in. Ah, uh, I can't remember where it was. Nope. <laughs> Oblivion was in one of them. Um, the Morrowind was set in Morrowind, etc. They're all like different provinces okay. within a big country. So, and as far as I'm aware, if you look at the map of Tamriel that they've already got established, they haven't run out yet. There are more left that they haven't done games in. I could, of course, be completely wrong in that. Okay. But 
there's space for another Elder Scrolls game. Yeah. Even if they have to go back to an old sort of province, like whatever. They could do it. Well, all right then. And it would be great. So yeah, that's uh, that's the eight sequels we would like to see. Your number one is... The Elder Scrolls Six. What's yours? F-Zero UX, you could put, you could call it, if they put it on Wii U, which they won't, but they might, but... Uh... Huh, that's actually pretty good, but it won't happen because <laughs> F-Zero is dead. Um, I've been Dan. I am being Chris. If you have any comments for us, like if there's any sequels you would like to see, if you agree with us, if you have any other comments, leave us a little comment. You know, we love reading them. Yeah. Dislike, comment, unsubscribe. Um, do the opposite of them things except for the middle one. Follow me on Twitter because I like... That would be nice. At CJMonk underscore. Thank you for listening, everyone, and good night. Good night. Whatever. What was I going to say? Um, awkward pause right now. I'll leave all of it in. Ah, uh, don't. So you look like an idiot. <laughs> uh, let me see here. What was I going to say? Okay, at this point I am going to cut <laughs> this because this is way too long. <laughs> F0GX. Uh... Wow, dude. I literally cannot remember what I was going to say. This is your fault. Wow. How is it my fault? <laughs> you keep making me laugh. <laughs> That's my job. That's what I'm here for. Hmm.